So I thought it'd be useful to show a sample using the Flex 4.5 view transitions that are available out of the box. So I'm on my iPod Touch here and I'm going to go into my little sample. And here at the bottom you can see I have four tabs, one for each of the view transition types. So there's a slide, a flip, a zoom, and a fade. The fade is actually called the crossfade view transition if you're looking in the APIs. But first I'm going to start with the slide. And the slide is the default that's used when you're navigating in your mobile app currently unless you change it to something else. There are three modes available. The default is the push mode and the direction is set to left for the default. So I'll just show that one first. So you can see my hello world view slide into place. I can go back and change the mode to cover and change the direction to down. I could also apply an easing function. In this case, I'm going to add a bounce, and that just adds a little extra to the effect. So if we start that, you can see that the new view slides down into place with a little bounce at the end. And lastly, I'll show the uncover mode on this one with a direction of right, and we'll apply the elastic easing function. And you can just see a little bit at the end there with that elastic easing function. You could up the duration to show that effect a little bit better. The next one I'm going to show is the flip view transition. And that one has two modes, card and cube. And first I'll show the card. This time we'll do a direction of right. So it just is going to flip the new view into place. If we change that mode to cube and run it, and this time I'm going to go down, it's going to look a little more 3D in the flip. Next is the zoom view transition, and that one just has the two modes, in or out. And this time I'm going to leave it at in. I'm going to apply the easing function of bounce, and I'll up the duration to two seconds so we can see the effect. So you can see that new view zoomed in. If I change the mode to out and apply the elastic easing function, this time I'm going to up it to three seconds so we can really see that elastic easing function applied and you can see what that would do. The last one is the crossfade view transition. That one doesn't have any special modes but you can add an easing function or change the duration just like the others. So there we have a little bounce easing function applied and the duration was set to two seconds. So go ahead and download the sample and try it out as you like.